Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I've got a rather interesting concept to discuss with you. Now, after a number of videos where you've seen two of us piloting one small ship, there's been quite a lot of debate about co-pilots, if they're necessary in Space Engineers, or is it simply more effective just to have two separate ships doing the same task? So in today's video, I thought I would show you some of the things that are possible with a co-pilot that make a ship a hell of a lot more effective. Now you're probably sitting there wondering, how can that be more effective than my small little nimble fighter that I built? How could having two people, that extra person aboard my ship, make it any better except making it larger and a bigger target? Well, the idea of having that co-pilot is to allow you to have more options when it comes to weapon systems. Now if we think about real life sort of fighters, or fighter bombers you could even say, such as the F-15, that has a pilot and a navigator slash weapon system operator, and the idea of that is to take payload off the pilot, as well as giving them access to weapons that couldn't be controlled purely by one man alone. And that's exactly what I'm doing here in Space Engineers. We've actually just fired a missile from my small little ship here, well not too small, and my co-pilot's showing you how we can miss a target and actually bring that missile back around. So I could be dogfighting with another ship and he could be concentrating on taking that guy out, distracting him from one angle as I'm shooting, and he can slam right into the side of him and destroy his engines. Now you could also do a lot of other cool things, maybe being pursued through a different sort of area of the galaxy, and there's a guy behind you, he's on his tail, you can't really take him out, so you get your pilot to deploy one of these missiles and it brings him straight back into the side of his cockpit. So I've just deployed it and I'm turning around. My co-pilot's actually guiding this little missile in here. And with the right amount of camouflage and using some less brighter colors, you could probably blend these really well into the environment. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is actually shooting at a moving target with these rockets. So this one is just moving on a steady sort of plane in one direction, and I'm gonna release it from here, run my landing gear, clip that off. My co-pilot's taking over, and he's gonna guide it on the final approach and pick that target of importance so as to took out the whole of the rear engine bay. Now we're actually going to have a go at a piloted ship. This ship's being piloted by one of my friends, and his job was to try to disable us as fast as possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually release my co-pilot's rocket. He manages to evade that first shot by absolutely inches, and now my co-pilot is actually trying to hit him with the missile as well as me trying to get some shots with the Gatling guns. So as he's preoccupied by myself, my co-pilot is actually going to work his way around from the side, and he's going to take him out. But well, you can see there, it just bounces off due to us using test missiles for the little practice experiment. Now, this is in the view of the co-pilot. So as you can see, I'm on the side, I'm locked onto one of the skids, one of the weapons racks, you could call, as I'm heading towards the target. Then I'm released. Once I'm released from the target, the ship is going to drift off to the side as I head in and destroy my target of choice. Now, another weapon that's available to the co-pilot is the Gatling guns. Now, these Gatling guns allow me to not fly directly towards the target, so that's going to prevent me from actually having a head-on collision. And if I combine them with my standard cannons from both the pilot and the co-pilot, you pack in a very deadly sort of package. The actual co-pilot can pick up targets of opportunity, take out engine bays, take out cells as you're heading towards the ship, and you can just shred absolute devastation you can see these holes you can see the damage has been increased quite a lot from what it used to be now these are both modifications of course but i do believe these sort of things are going to be very sort of hostile you're going to see a lot of these on servers they're just things that people really like to use especially these strong hitting weapon systems punched a hole straight through that one now i've taken control of the co-pilot's gonna see i'm actually shredding up the target he's taking the large gatling guns on the top and i'm just going to be shredding the bottom ones we can also pick two separate targets just making for a really great all-around package. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to think about this. Would it be better to have a co-pilot on your ship? 